everyone, my name is Sevim. We are practicing AVS together and today we are going to try Simulearn. That's a new game-based learning tool in AVS. We have done Cloud Quest before. If you haven't seen them before, you can go and check my playlist and uh, practice yourself as well on Skill Builder AVS. And today we are going to just see how Simulearn works and you can continue practicing, which will be hands-on doing projects and learning by doing. It's the amazing learning tool uh, for cloud learners. So let's get started. I'm going to start now. This is about cloud computing essentials, which will be quite basic. I watched the tutorial video here and just to see how it works. It uh, seems quite similar to Cloudcast, um, so let's see how it works. Okay, uh, technical annotations, let's continue. Okay, uh, this will be scripted dialogue and there is second option that where we can write as well. Okay, it is ex explains the problem. Interesting about cloud. Okay, let's continue. How many days does it take? It's in a minute. Web page, website static. Okay. Once we figure out what the problem is, we can go back and find the solution. We are suggesting to store the data in Amazon S3. So first part is learning and the second part is where we practice. And the third part is where we need to do our uh, ourselves. There will be videos to watch on the learning section. This is the Dr. Newton chat. There is chat example. We can ask questions where we get stuck or we need to answer. And it's explaining more about S3 because we need to configure with S3. So client city, uh, city residents, city web portal and S3. It's explaining about Amazon S3 where we can start practicing. Migrate an existing website to static website hosting on Amazon S3 to improve rel reliability. And there is practice as well where we can do concept practice. Let's go how it works. When ready, click here to open AVS console. Uh, we are going to work on AVS console. Let's open here. I like to take AVS console out and now explaining AVS lab provisioning states. Ready, running. Cloudcast will provision a lab account for you, which we it did. And then cloud computing essentials. This is the same that we are practicing with Cloudcast as well. So we need to get go to S3, which is here. It shows you can find it on here as well. And let's see, website bucket is created. We can click on this one. Um, let's copy that name of the bucket. Then choose text. Okay, um, review, actions, rename object, text, rename object, error, HTML, just resize myself so I can see, save the HTML name. And we can follow the instructions again. 
if that's corrected yes it's changed we will go to permissions now and change the bucket, bucket permissions public access is closed and the policy this one is closed this is the policy that we get um, did we change anything just review and scroll back let's go to properties now go to static website hosting let's go to static website it's on usually on the bottom and enable what else do we need enable host static website is chosen index html html error html and then we can save the changes successfully edited to static website we can see the bucket hosting let me see where this is here which wave conditions it shows as it's supposed to okay so now this is completed we will go to the DIY section let's click and our test servers will validate that you rename index html to waves html a successful validation will find waves html in your s3 bucket use the action drop down menu to rename index html to waves and then type the website bucket name into the validation field the bucket name begins with website bucket okay that's bucket name validation so we need to rename index to html waves so that's the only thing that we need to do i guess which will be very easy which one index html just this one we will um that's the first and cloud practitioner and basic one so it's not going to be uh, that difficult if you are already practicing a little bit of AVS. Let's rename that and it's asking for bucket name. This is our bucket name. Validation, let me see if it's saved. Yes, that's saved. This practice didn't take long because we didn't watch the videos, we didn't go through all the steps and learn about AVS and S3 basics. So if you don't know them, it's best to go through them and learn the rules and everything, all the details that you need from AVS uh, about S3 because you need, that's the point actually, you need to first learn what, what S3 is, what's the purpose and how it works and then do the practice so that will be more beneficial but for i just tried this for the first time and started with the basic one so this will be only to show you how similar works and then you can go through all the practices and do hands-on experience trainings and continue to to develop yourself so i i really enjoyed it I, it's a game-based learning just as cloud quest if you haven't tried cloud quest before you can uh, watch my videos as well and go and practice there are lots of cloud quest uh, practices that you can improve your avs knowledge and do the hands of pr projects that's a big advantage i will see you in my next video bye